Is Zynga Poker rigged? Over this series of videos, I will be looking at whether Zynga Poker for Facebook is rigged in favour of the profit Zynga make. A lot of people ask, why is this important? Why does it matter? It's only a game. But due to the fact that day by day, Zynga continue to make millions of dollars by selling virtual currency, put Zynga in a moral dilemma if in fact the game is rigged, as those willing to buy chips should at least be given a fair and unbiased game of poker. However, I will be looking at the funnier side of Zynga, exposing the world's greatest dunk players, and if in fact I determine that by the end of this series that Zynga isn't rigged, it can only mean one thing, that every Zynga professional is completely psychic. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to join a sit and go um, for the first part of this video. This will be the first of I don't know how many, but um, this this will only be the first part. Uh, I'll tell you that. Uh, and I've been, oh no, okay, my seat has gotten stolen, so I'm going to have to look for a different table. Um, I do find that the sit and goes do tend to fill up quite fast. Uh, I'd really rather not join a five-handed game, and. If anyone's taken the time to notice my chip stack, yes, I'm incredibly sad. And playing a 50k game really isn't worth my while. But for the sake of this video, if I can't find another table, I think I'll... Oh, I'll join the 200k. Uh, that, that'll do. I will sit... Uh, I'll sit in the button. Okay, so, uh, back to why I started this series. Basically, about four or five months ago, I emailed Zynga with a very simple question. I asked them... Is your random number generator completely random? You know, it would suggest in the name of the random number generator that it should in fact be random. So I, I, I asked them, is your game completely random? Are the whole cards dealt to each player random? Or is the flop random? Is the turn random? Is the river random? And basically, basically they refused to answer. Uh, they sent me a message back saying, it is against our privacy policy and we cannot disclose this information. So... I sent them a reply saying, I was in a course for two years which happened to cover the privacy policy uh, that certain companies employ and the Data Protection Act of 1998 and nowhere in that does it mention, um, well, basically just the workings of an organization. It would have been different if I had asked, for example, will you give me the details of where each player lives? That would, that would be covered in the Data Protection Act of 1998. And so uh, does a privacy policy. Um, they remain the right and, <laughs> well, basically uh, must remain within the law and they cannot, they cannot disclose, you know, such information. But nowhere, nowhere would that cover the likes of a simple question of, is this game completely random? You see, in contrast, I'd asked 888, a very similar question, and... They, they, they told me straight away, yes, our game is completely random, you can get unlucky at times and you can get sucked out, but other than that, just keep playing and it'll balance out. But I'd, I'd, ask, I'd ask the question in several different ways to Zynga, and they kept refusing to answer. So it made me think, if they had nothing to be guilty of, if they had nothing to hide, why wouldn't they just tell me? It, it clearly doesn't infringe any of their policies to tell, tell us that. Unless, in fact, it isn't actually rigged. Or, sorry, if, in fact, it is rigged. <laughs> what I meant to say was, if, in fact, it isn't completely random. Um, so, basically, it inspired me to do this little series. Also, I've been playing on Zynga for maybe four years. Probably more than that. And some of the shit that I've seen in that, you know, that length of time. And, it's, you know, it's not a few bad beats. It's not every so often. I see it every day. And I probably play Zynga for about an hour a day, maybe average. And I see it all the time. It happens to me all the time. Where people tend to make these completely psychic calls with absolutely fuck all. You know, they'll see a flop. Doesn't matter what the cards are. They could have five high. They're still going to call you because they're psychic. Or is the game maybe not random? Maybe the game would favor them over more experienced players or else... There may be a slight chance that they'd leave. Um, and actually, for a while, I thought that I, I, I thought that possibly it would favor those people who have never bought chips. But I, I, I quickly scrapped that idea because I've never bought chips. 
And Zynga must know that I never will buy chips. <laughs> There's no need for me to buy chips, yet I still get fucked on a regular basis. And a good friend of mine who is very who is very good at poker, um, I'm a, I'll, I'll add, he he gets he gets fucked all the time, and it's it's actually quite funny, um, because it's just unreal. It's stuff that you you know, it'd be impossible to make up. But I've seen it. I've seen it happen, and it. It really just begs the question, is this game completely straight or not? But, um, I don't know, let's let's go away from me ranting and let's focus on the amazing quality poker because I'm sure that these Zynga professionals have a lot to teach me about poker. I mean, I've played online poker, like proper online poker for two years. I'm in profit and these guys are like, these guys are completely better than me because they're all psychic. They knew what cards are going to be dealt on the flop, on the turn, on the rip. They knew. You know, you could shove on them into a pot of, let's say, 40. You could give them odds of 25 to 1, and they're still going to call with their gut shot, even though they have absolutely no chance. It's it really ridiculous. And whenever I said odds of 25 to 1, I meant 1 to 25. I'm, I'm really bad with odds. I can work out percentages, I can work out per like chances, but odds odds have always confused me a wee bit. Um, it's it's always been quite simple for me. <laughs> Join a sit and go. This is what you can win. You get this for first. You get this for second. Um, although odds have always confused me. It <laughs> they make no sense, especially like Americanized <laughs> um, odds where it's like decimal. Although that that makes a bit more sense because you just like multiply what you're betting. And then, like, that's what you can win, I think. I'm not sure. But, um, oh, wow. Uh, you, you know, it must be really, really good. She just bet 20 into a pot of 580. And Janet, quite rightfully, makes a, makes a massive re-raise. And she fools because she's got nothing. Or is that a he, maybe? Is that a he? I'm not sure. I think it might actually be a he. Okay, so my first semi-decent hand. Um... Yeah, I'll try. I'll try making a raise here. One ten. Although, like, I'm probably fucked. Okay, so one caller so far. Oh, and we're well with a massive all in. If well, I've got to call at this raise. He could be shoving with pretty much anything. The flop comes ace nine eight. Nah, no, there's no point. There's no point in me betting it because he's already all in. And if Cruz does the correct thing, she will also check along with me. But I highly doubt. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm completely fucked. I don't have it. Just have it. Oh uh, well. Oh uh, well. I I probably could have called there or maybe re-raised, but I was going to end up all in because she hit her king. I I don't know that I could have made that psychic call, but if I was a Zynga professional, I I would have. I probably would have shoved over the top of them. Um. Ace high is definitely one of the most defended hands on Zynga. You know, you can see a flop, you can hit a set in the flop, you can shove on them. They're st if they've got ace high, they're going to call you. The amount of times I've seen, you know, people being shoved on, they've got ace king, they've seen a flop completely missed, no draws, and they will always call with their ace king. I'm not saying that that's the wrong thing to do all the time, but... It is whenever you see a really, really wet flop that you're completely fucked on. It's it's just food for thought. Oh well, speaking of Ace King, my favorite hand. How fucked am I? Okay, I'll make I'll make a really make, make a really big raise. One sixty. I mean, you couldn't call that with just fuck all, could you? I mean, that's that's four times the big blind. And Cruz has still managed to call. Now you got to remember last time she called my decent sized raise with King Two, so. You know, we've got a range of... Cruz has got two cards. Yeah, it narrows it down for me. You see, this is the problem I have when I play Zynga Poker. Normally, I can put people within a range whenever they call a big raise like that. You might think, okay, mid-pocket pair, but no. Against these guys, they could have anything. They have... Basically, all you know is they've got two cards. That That's it. They, they, may, they may as well be blank. Because they're just going to play in the most random, spontaneous way. I'm all in. Could this be, my, like, one of my shortest videos ever? Quite possibly. Pocket 8s against Ace King. Well, that's fair enough.
And, yeah. Okay, well, I, I can't complain. I can't complain, re really, but it begs the question, you know, what did Cruz feel that she could have limped, or she could have called my massive raise with, like, completely fuck all. Yeah. But, but we'll just see. I'm not completely out yet, but I, I have a funny feeling I'm not going to be placing here. And Cruz, the professional poker player, limps again. That's, that's definitely a good idea. Limping into every hand. And then as soon as you, as soon as you face a re-raise, that snap falls. But, ah. Uh, although, one thing I suppose that did raise my suspicion one day was, I, I sat down at a relatively big table. It probably was about a two million max buy-in. It was a, a cash game. And basically I decided, right, I am going to shove every hand, regardless of my whole cards, and just see it happens. You know, just, just for a laugh. So I did this. And definitely one of the most prominent all-ins I remember was I had 610. I had 610 off. And I shoved. And it ended up being a four-way all- Oh, and I'm all in here. Uh, as soon as I get fucked with my ace nine, I will continue the story. And if I'm out, I may actually join another table. Because the, the, this video has only been about 10 or 11 minutes long. Although, I don't know if I- Four five. Okay, I I'll be honest with you. I'm really really surprised my ace nine held there. Normally, when you see four five and a flop of ace three five, you're gonna see a two by the river. It may it may be on the turn, it may be on the river, but it's nearly always there. So I'm actually sort of disappointed for the point of this video that it it didn't put the two out there. But I'm I'm still happy to be in, and I will in fact be shoving with yeah yeah. Uh, well, I'm probably, uh, no. You know, I've got no chips, and that's a massive, stupid raise. I just hope I'm against an ace hand, just not two of them, you know? Pocket kings, that's fair enough. That really is, um, such a suck out. Look at that. Look at that bullshit. Okay, maybe I'm not getting sucked out, but other people certainly are. Sorry. It's not. My fault, Liam Zinger. It must be rigged. So yeah, back to my uh, six nine story or six ten story. Um, yeah, I'd say I'd six ten, and it ended up all in uh, five hundred. I was against pocket sixes, pocket tens, pocket kings, and ten jack. Okay, now remember I have six ten, so I can't hit my six. I can't hit my ten because that would that, you know, that would benefit the, either the sixes or the tens. So anyone who knows their poker odds will know that I am well and truly fucked. How the fuck can I seriously win with six ten off? So basically, the flop comes to ace seven. So you're thinking at this point, oh wow, how, how, how could six ten possibly win? Well, it's quite simple. It's It's one of... It's one of Zynga's least sophisticated baits. It's called the Runner Runner Straight. So, nine on the turn. Ho, oh, I wonder, I wonder what's coming on the river. Yep, that's right, the eight. And everyone's like, oh, you fuck, you fucking sucked me out. I'm like, you know what, um, I'm really sorry that that happened, but I, I'm just proving a point. I'm proving a point that, that Zynga is completely rigged. And, and from that point, I kept, you know, I kept shoving every hand. And the hands that I was winning with were just ridiculous. You know, three outers and, you know, like, ace jack against my jack too. And I managed to hit, like, trip twos on the flop. Um, let me think about this for a second. I will make a value bet of 220. Yeah, it's probably a good fold there, mate. Considering you were well and truly fucked. Um, I, I actually have to say, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. We're about 12 minutes into this table, and it's still nine-handed. Most of the tables that you join, it'll be like seven-handed within the first few hands, because you nearly always get a shove on the first hand. You nearly always get one professional who's like, I've got two cards. I'm probably good if I shove here. Uh, 
And I suppose that's another thing. A lot of people criticize me for criticizing how other people play. You know, some people defend, like, <laughs> defend the idea that sitting down at any table and shoving every hand is real is a really fun way of playing poker. And fair enough. If people want to do that, that's up to them. What annoys me is whenever some fucking psychic hero sits down, sees a king in a two, let's say, shoves... Poor old me, I'm sitting with pocket kings. I'm like, fuck, he just shoved on me. What do you do? I have to call. I, I, I can't not call. And then they end up absolutely completely fucking me with some obscure straight. It, it, it just, it's so common. Uh, another big example, it was when I had a lot less chips. Uh, I'd, I'd sat down at a 5 million table. And first hand is like, here you go. Here you go. You've got pocket aces, what are you going to do? And I'm sitting in the big blinds. I'm like, oh, wow, I've got pocket aces. But I, I should have known. I should have known I was so fucked. So basically, it folded the whole way around. And the small blind was like, you know what? I'm a fucking hero. I'm going to shove. I'm like, oh, what the fuck could they be shoving me with? Well, I'm snap calling. They're, they're not ahead, ever. And they turn over queen six. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that's a relief. Um, <laughs> They're definitely not winning. The flop... Six. Six, Jack. And uh, I'm gonna have to call, you know. You know, what do you limp in with and then shove on the second turn? Uh, okay. Wait, yeah, of course, of course. King nine. King nine is so crushed there. Ace king against pocket nines against king nine. What outs? What outs do king nine have? They can't hit their nine. If they hit their nine, they are well and truly fucked. I've got a set. They can't hit their king because ace king will have top pair ace kicker. But oh no. Oh no. Zing still finds a way. It still finds a way of letting him win. The runner runner flush. I mean, it, it, it's not as ridiculous as, let's say, eights against kings. Eights has equity of about 20 to 25 percent there. You know, it's it will win one in four times, but pocket nines against ace king against king nine. Tell me what equity king nine has in that spot. I ra I reckon that it's probably less than about ten percent. I may be wrong, but it's it's quite close. But somehow somehow it does it, and I will I will prove through these videos it will not happen this once. It's not just me being unlucky. This happens all the time. Well, okay, maybe it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens the majority of times. That isn't me being cynical. That is just me simply stating... And, yeah, think about it this way. He must be fucking psychic. You know, he limps in. I make a big raise. He still calls. Guy next to him, he shoves, and I call that as well. What is he beating with King-9? What is he actually beating? You know what, you know, you deserve a gift from me because you are professional. You are psychic. That's what I'm. T that's what I'm telling you. You see, if Zynga isn't rigged, it can only mean one thing. He's a psychic. He's completely psychic. I mean, it's just unreal. He has 18 million chips. I mean, if he didn't, if he didn't buy them, how the fuck did he end up with all those chips? Ask anyone who is good at poker, even the slightest bit, and they will tell you that the, that is the most retarded all-in call ever. Well, maybe not ever, but it's it's close. It's close. And I'm going to slow play my queens because someone will shove. Someone will shove or make a big raise, but I'm still fucked. Yes. Okay. Well... I, th I think I'm going to bet now because if anyone has an ace at all, they, they are calling. Um, uh, let's see, 250, 250, uh, 290, or 27, yeah, 270 will do. Leave, my, leave myself with 280 behind. I'm never folding. Well, if there's an ace in the river, I'm folding because some fucking psychic will have an ace. Four, I'm all in. Well, for 210. Ace eight. You know, it's probably not the best idea to limp in with ace eight in that position. Probably not. I'd probably fold it. But you know, these guys are like, oh wow, 
I have an ace in my hand. How can I ever lose? And then they still limp in, even though they psychically predict that their ASA is going to be really good. And they limped in with, like, eight big blinds behind. That's, that, that's really spectacular. I need Cruz to teach me how to play poker, because clearly Cruz knows something that I don't. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I'm like some big professional, like I'm clearly not. I, I've been, I've been playing Zynga for about four years, and I've been playing like real online poker for about two years, and I suppose if it's anything to go by, I do have a, a positive ROI, and that's return on investment uh, for online poker, and for anyone who isn't familiar with that term, it uh, basically means that I have won money on poker, not lost, sort of overall. And most people lose money. It, it's, ju it's just how it is. But I, I, I like to say that, you know, that's something. It's, it, it's got to count for something, e even though it's not much. But I, I do like to... I do like to think that I'm really good at poker anyway, you know. But, let's see. Um, yeah, we have a four-way pot where everyone limps. This is, this is amazing. This, you know, a lot of people ask me, should I play Zynga? Is Zynga fun? Z Zynga is good fun, so it is, but if you are actually decent at poker, looking to play a good game of free poker, you're probably best not going to Zynga, because, like I say, if you have any idea how to play poker, just the shit that happens on a daily basis will really, really, really piss you off. Just getting fucked over every fucking time. And, yeah, it begs the question what so cold with. I mean, it's quite clear that he had a 10 in his hand. He wouldn't have done that with anything else. Um, although will so limp, yes, so will limp, even though they have only 3.2 big blinds behind. They're really good. And they're level 85. They're a bigger level than me. Although they only do have, like, 350,000 chips, so... Yeah, that was a good way to spend, like, more than half of your chips. 300... Although, surprisingly enough, he's level 85 and he's never been above a million chips. That's, that's really... that's really bad. I mean, even if you're not that good at poker, it's not that difficult to get over a million. Well, he has been over a million, but, like, the next step up's two million. Most players at that stage will have had at least 10 million at some stage. And yep, another amazing psychic call with Jack 8. Th this guy deserves a World Series of Poker Bracelet. He's just that good. He, he, needs to, he needs to enter the World Series of Poker main event and just win it. Because he's so good. Oh look, come on ES7. Yes, that's good. You, you, you teach that Zynga Pro. Although, I don't blame him for shoving there, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Although, it still would have been rather sick if he had won. I check. I've got fuck all. Not literally fuck all, but mm, almost. That is not a scary card. I check. I'm probably good here. I call. Queen three, really? We you you decided to wait the the whole way to the river with queen three? Oh wow, that's that's absolutely amazing. Oh, oh I should have shoved there. Damn it. Queen three. I never I never I never would have put him on a queen. I would have put him on a three. I possibly thought he possibly had rivered a pair of threes. I thought he'd maybe two pair of queens and threes, but no, wow. He's got a full house. Queens over threes. He, as you can tell, he got a lot of value out of that. He got so much value out of his boat. That was amazing. Well played, you know. Teach me poker, you know. You are really good. It's as simple as that. I I am so fu- I have four big blinds, and you know what? I, I'm all in. Nothing else I can do. I'm all in. And he calls me with queen four rather psychically. 
And I suck him out. Well, I do not feel bad about that at all, but how the fuck he could call with Queen 4? Uh, you see, you see, that's actually quite funny because I have a running joke with one of my friends, and, and we both think that Queen 4 definitely is the best hand in Texas Hold'em pre-flop. I mean, it's you've got a Queen and you've got a 4. I mean, think of all the Queens and all the 4s in the deck that you could hit. I'm all in. He's most likely got two clubs. Yep, that's what I thought. Although if he did have two clubs, I would be very surprised because they never, they never fold their flush draws. A uh, fold. I mean, the amount of times where even one club would call me in that position. Oh look, there are two clubs on the board. I've got one club. Um, I'm definitely gonna have a flush by the end of it. And the even worse thing is, by the river they do have a flush. Gazinga gives them the flush. I've got Ace Queen. Oh well. I raise 600, and I'm calling any all-in. Ace-Queen is definitely one of the most rigged hands, along with Ace-King and Kings. Pocket Kings actually is probably the most rigged hand, because if you're against any Ace, whether it be Ace-2, Ace-3, right through to Ace-King, you're going to lose. You're going to see an Ace on the flop, and you're going to lose. Um... Rather surprised, po or I'm rather surprised. Ten eight did not win there. You know why wouldn't it win? He's got two cards again. Okay, so we've actually managed to get three handed, which is, which is rather surprising considering I was completely fucked at one point. Come on, Ace Queen, just hold. No ten. Good. Excellent. That's that's really well played. Even though you limped with Ace Queen originally, that was. That was sort of uh, a new approach, I must say, to the um, strong ace. I fold my 8-2 because 8-2 is shite. And anal is all in again. Damn. I fold my shitty 2-9. Um, I'm probably going to fold when anal shoves. I, I think I can probably... Oh, no. Just, just, a, just a limp. I still have nothing. I had nothing pre-flop. I still have nothing on the flop. I check. Oh wow. It could, couldn't give me the runner runner, could it? I check. Yeah, it can give me the runner runner. That's that's amazing. Don't t don't tell me he's got two diamonds. I mean, that would be completely sick. Um I bet 250. And he calls. I'm really interested to see what he's got. Yeah, he wasn't beating me. Although that just goes to show, I mean, there's there's another runner runner straight. That's amazing. Oh wow, it's giving me ace jack suited. Zingo wants me out. I'm all in. I fooled my bullshit. Let's see, James, 17 million, Unal, yeah, he's the guy with 18 million somehow. I want to know, did he steal those chips or did he buy those chips? Because he certainly couldn't have won the chips because he's just... It's what I like to call, he's a bit of a donk. He's a bit shit. And... Yeah, I... Well, I mean, if he did win them, it's clear how he won them. Just... Oh wow, I pressed the bluff button. I've got two cards again. I bluff, I bluff, I bluff. Um, also, uh, probably in this series I will use a term that I coined, which I like to call the bluff button, which is the mentality where a donk has two cards and all they do to bluff is just press raise. You know, it could be a big pot of a thousand and they press the bluff button and they bluff for 20 chips. And then when they're faced by any raise, they snap fold because the bluff button didn't work. And that was a really, really, really uh, shit. Shit all in there with King 3. That was really well played. So, so yes, now I'm heads up with the complete professional. This will be interesting. This will be really interesting because I like, I like to think that I'm better at heads up than at any other type of poker. So... You know, I, I would still favor me to win against this guy on, like, a regular poker site. 
Who just joined my table? Adam? Okay. Hello, Adam. Um. <laughs> I fold. But yes, I'm on a completely random, non rigged poker site. I would still favor myself against this guy because. Like I say, he's really quite shit. Check. Check. Um. I bet. 600. Well, 575, that'll do. You know what? I think there's a, I think there's a good chance that he's maybe got a jack, in which case, I should be good. No, he folds. Oh, that's re that's really interesting. Be, be a bit sick there if he had a king and things I sucked him out with running jacks. Pocket eights. Oh, my favorite hand. I sucked him out with king, or my, my eights against his kings earlier, but he manages to fold. Good fold. Regardless of what hand he had, I was winning there with my pocket eights. Oh, four or five suited. I like I like clubs at the minute, although I can't really afford to call any raise at this at this stage. Yes, two, eight. Okay. Nine. I don't for some reason I don't think it's gonna throw me the three like it normally does. I am playing <laughs> my um trying to think. Yeah, my five is actually in play, so all I can beat is three four or five three. I can't even beat 5-3, I'd tie with it. Oh wow, I mean I'm getting some awful hands here. 8-6, oh this is terrible. This is really bad. Check. He's limping into a lot of my big blinds I notice. Hmm. You know he hasn't been betting much post flop, so I'm going to give it to him. All in. Yes, two. This will most likely be a split pot. Yep. Good call there. I probably would have called in fairness as well. But considering I've been shoving with like very few hands, you know he was gonna be all, he was gonna be behind a lot of the times. Oh my king it. I'm all in. You know, I, I, I can't afford for him to keep limping into my blind. It's really, really annoying because if, if I miss, you know, there's nothing I can do. I've got like seven big blinds. Queen, nine. If this wins, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah, well played. Psychic queen nine call. That, that's amazing. Well played, you know. Yeah, I'm, an all, I'm all in again. I'm all in. Stop limping into my big blind. You only have like six of them. Queen deuce. Fold. Mmm. 69. I fucking love this hand. 69. Oh no. I really, really want to call. 69 is like the best hand after queen four. How am I psychically going to... Yeah, oh, I'm going to have to fold this. I really don't want to, but I fold. Ah, <sighs> fold. Oh dear, he's catching up. Catching up. This is what the lack of blinds does. Yeah. Still marginally ahead. As as, as long as I just get a decent all in, that's that's all I need. That's all I need, and then he's out. Oh god. Oh shit. Uh, I really want to call. I really yeah, I'm calling. Ace 6. Well, fair enough. And it gives him the flush to make sure as well. I would have laughed if he managed to fool there somehow. And that's it, folks. That was my first sit and go of is Zynga rigged. And well, at the minute, my my rigometer, um, how rigged would I say it's been at the minute? It wasn't actually too bad, I'll admit. 
I did see some really, really stupid sick suckouts, some really, really psychic calls, but I, I don't think this really proves anything at the minute. It's... It was pretty average. I'd probably be leaning a bit more towards it is rigged, but not not overly so. I will see you next time for part two of Is Zinger Rigged?